Right, this is supposed to be one-handed gaming review, and I've had to stop a few times because it is proving to be bloody difficult one-handed. It's that patchy red and rubby belly sort of thing going on here. Right, I'm trying to review this little device. I picked it up off AliExpress. I like the form factor of it. The fact that it's not only got a D-pad, but it's got analog sticks. Are we on? Ah, it's turning on now. Right. Yeah, 20 odd quid from AliExpress, so it didn't cost a fortune. Uh, came, they used to come now with a C cable and quite a decent long cable to attach to the TV. I may even do that at some point. It's got the usual games on it, it's nothing really special. The usual emulators. I'm just nipping down to the Chaos Engine. Right, while it's loading up and doing its thing. Um, took me ages to find out when I got this. Where's the bloody start button? And it's that analog stick to the right, or it could even be down. It's to the right. Yeah, speaker's not bad, isn't it? Start new game. Anything will do. Yep, yeah, there's my clock up there. Right. Now the reason I liked this was, like I say, because of the analog stick in it. There's my character. Now the horizontal and the vertical, they work lovely. It don't want to do diagonals though, does it? There's down. There's that way. No, it doesn't want to do any diagonals. Switch to the D-pad. Not a problem. That is such a shame that the analog stick will not do diagonals. I mean, it means it's great for Pac-Man. It's great for Space Invaders. You try and do a fighting game on that and getting your moves out. The only reason I'm doing this is the D slash 6A handheld game player. I can't find any re any reviews on it on YouTube apart from one done by Brandon. Yet he doesn't mention the fact that diagonals don't work. Unless it's my unit. If somebody out there could let me know, I'd be grateful. Have yourselves a lovely day.